So, refineries, right? The whole tired of cues and the fact that the refineries in bumfuck nowhere is the same industrial powerhouse as the one in the logistical capital of your faction? Yeah, me too. And I really want that to change. But Siege Camp, they don't seem too bothered. Which means I'll have to make a little something something, you know? Right. I want to stick to the same style as current refineries, because honestly, they look kind of neat. Maybe add a little bit of an industrial revolution aesthetic to it, because, god dang, those lands, they need design. Alright, so, plan is, expand existing refinery with industrial aesthetic. So to start off, we have to recreate the current refinery model that's in-game. That's easy, right? Grab some binos, measure that sucker up. Turns out, main building is 9x8, with a supporting structure at each end at about 40 to 50 centimeters. It gets hard when the measurement is less than a meter, I'm afraid. The lower side building is much more rectangular, coming in at 7 by 12 meters. Now, you may have noticed we're lacking a quite important measurement here. Turns out it's pretty hard to use binoculars to look vertically up in the air. So, what to do? Well, it so happens that the refinery is made out of red bricks. And do you know what is great about red bricks? That's right, they're standardized. Which means, if I just count these bricks here, 26, 27, 28 bricks tall. Alright, so we have the brick in mind. Now a little math. Accounting for both brick and mortar layer, every brick is 75 millimeters tall. Meaning that the low building comes out to 2 meters and 10 centimeters. Wait, that doesn't seem right. This can't possibly be just 2 meters. You've got to be joking. What do I do then? Yeah. I sat staring at my screen quite a while trying to come up with a solution. And while staring, I find this. Look at it. It's like a meter long. I was finding these tiny little wacky things. So safe to say, bricks ain't the best measurement. Or are they? So you're all probably there thinking, RG, what the fuck are you on about? These bricks are totally whack. Well, yes, except for their height. The bricks are essentially a skin. Right? So, where the edges meet, or bend, you get wacky bricks. You don't notice it when you just look at them while playing, but Foxhole's buildings are all smooth surfaces with decals and texturing, making them feel rough and more detailed than they actually are. So, with this knowledge, we can assume that the bricks are roughly the same height, as that isn't distorted by folds and clipping in textures. Now, we just need to figure out what this brick textures brick sizes are. The window has just about three bricks. Pretty close really, but it's just about one meter exactly. Now, bricks are formatted in a 3 by 2 by one configuration, basically three wide, two deep, one high. Given that our foxhole bricks are 330 millimeter wide, they come out to 110 millimeter high. Going back to our earlier calculations, that makes the side building 3.08 meters tall. And that is much more plausible, meaning I can get drawing. Well, already have. I really just wanted to complain about bricks. I hope that's alright. Anyway, here is the finished product. So, this is it. Um, finished product. It's um, it's a, it's a refinery. Yeah. Uh, color and everything. Red bricks are just red. Has a little crane. It's very good. Uh, as you can see, there's a little something peeking out over here. My first concept or idea for improving the refinery is adding this grate. I wanted to make you a model that explained what it does, but maybe I can just go in here and I can add a little, little something in post. Maybe, I don't know, I, I can't really put this flat on because... Uh, as you can see, there's great, there is a crane in the way. But basically, under here is supposed to be like a pit or something. And some of you might realize what this is. So, you we have a dump truck. I think it would be very cool if you could have the dump truck drive over this specific section. And I know that it is possible to access the refinery from this part. And... Maybe I'll be taking away a little bit of access space here, but most refineries are actually placed so you can't even really get a truck in here. So I'll I'll, I'll take it. A, this is an okay addition, giving 
Uh, given that this is another access point where you can submit resources and gives us a cool animation because take your dump truck over. Now, when you access the refinery, the dump truck will offload its cargo by lifting up the bucket, pouring it into this grill and allowing it to dump the entire sort of, uh, or all its cargo into a sort of a, a holding situation in the refinery where you can then select whatever you want to make it into as normal. Um, but you don't have to right click and like submit and wait that you don't even have to do that. You don't just have to shit clip. Anyway, it's another access point where you can put in resources and it gives us a nice animation. And it also just kind of makes sense that you can dump your resources in it like this, because right now you just drive up to it and it magically works. And I think it could look real cool. It also gives the dump trucks a bit more nice thing. I mean, it doesn't really change much. Uh, I know, <laughs> but I'm adding more. This is purely an aesthetic thing that I just, I, I felt uh, if we add more things to it, you know, adding this, also, it will give you more sides to access the refinery on. Maybe you can access it with a truck on this side or the other. Essentially, what is this? It's uh, it's just a coal lift or like materials list, lift uh, pit. It has to get brought up and over on this conveyor belt. Uh, it's something you usually see on farms very much like for hay and stuff. But I thought if it works on hay, we can get it to work on coal and scrap and things. And maybe there could be like a cool animation. So when people add something to the refinery or just like at random, you would see material coming from within the tower being driven over, like come up and out and drive like over the conveyor belt then be dumped into the refinery. But of course, having that, it can be on another side of the building, obviously. Now, the cool thing about it is I, I thought, okay, so people are going to have to access that. How are they going to have to access this? I thought, well, right now it's all just a road down here at front where it's like it's blocked on the road and you drive past it and you have to like turn in and then you can use it. I thought this one over here, why not make it so it can be in a T junction and you can access it from more sides of the refinery? More access point, better for traffic. Eh? That's the idea at least. Maybe you're only turning it a little bit, so it's also not just a facade. It's like a, a full 360 building that can be used on all sides. And the most important part, the whole reason we're doing all this, we could add another platform, you know? So you would add another crane and you have another platform where you can put resource containers on. So you don't have those like long queues of four or five flat beds all waiting to offload. And it'll just have two queues of one person working and one person waiting, much more throughput. You could still have some access points on the little additional building. Still have the grill, makes it a lot bigger, makes it feel a lot more industrial. Like it, it fits much more like with a big, I am making gestures in the air and I feel like an idiot now because I realize that I'm doing it and you guys can't see it because it's a video. <laughs> it's great. Anyway. Um, <laughs> So it feels like the scale grows with the larger logistics town, right? Like I can go down to Foxcatcher and Foxcatcher is like a tiny little city right on the edge of weather it expands. And it has a full blown refinery, the size of the one that you see in a backline town, right? Like what's going on? Is there a philanthropist who was just like, I'm going to put a state-of-the-art refinery here or what? I'm not particularly a fan of that. I, I want it to scale. I want it to feel like the big times are big. It has heavy industry. I know we have all these really cool industrial buildings that are part of the industrial district, and I think it looks great, especially Viper Pit, the whole expansion. There, it feels great. The only thing that's lacking is slightly bigger actual functional buildings right bigger functional buildings it feels like the buildings we actually use are made to take the capacity especially with all the new foxhole 1.0 players sat in the king's last war 
you had queues on queues and queues, like physical cars being stuck behind each other, waiting for the next car over to getting gear and going. Again, of course, uh, two different designs, flat one for a flat road, and also one made for being near a junction or similar, uh, spreading out traffic more, allowing for, for more roads to go through. Uh, I'll put some visuals on here for you. They should pop up now, maybe. <laughs> that shows some arrows in the directions trucks could go so they don't congest all like in front of each other and you know, block each other from going where you need to go. Um, but I thought, this is nice. Admittedly, I, I very much enjoy my material lift. I, I think it looks very nice. I do. I love it. I love the design of it. The whole, like, you can see it go up and over. It really makes it feel like we're actually in the industrial age. You can see machinery run. But it just didn't feel big enough, right? I needed something more. So I went overboard. And I made this. Um, and I made an interior as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you want to see it, this is, of course, to scale. I kept the original refinery in so I could keep it to scale. I tried to use the same sort of uh, style that you have with the Foxhole buildings. Of course, it's not going to be 100% because it's just me drawing, sort of, going freestyle. Uh, but I, I reused some of the assets. Um, I've kept some of these same, like, this little box. I, there's a lot of boxes here, but it, I, I promise there's a box that looks exactly like this. And there's no texturing on it. It's just black uh, in the corner. And I added it in over here. I think it's neat. I added, you know, so we have uh, two platforms. And I imagine you could easily have a train track running here or behind it. You can use at least one of the cranes for accessing it. What I did is also... I see a lot, it's slightly more modern. We'll say it's slightly more modern, but a lot of industrial buildings have these big skylight windows that you can open to get some fresh air in, uh, especially if it's a very hot industrial building. It's a good way to, you know, get a little bit of a chill on so you can actually work without sweating to death. Uh, I made an interior, uh, at least on this, the, the large building here, because I just, I love the buildings that have interior. I, urban fighting is so nice. I love it. So I really wanted some interior. Of course, uh, my PC started screaming at me with all of the things going on in this file. So <laughs> the interior is, is pretty tame. It's nothing grand. I have uh, these three uh, heavy pipes going over from what could be fuel tanks, for example, and also another fuel tank. I imagine this could be the standard fuel tank that you have already in the game just retexture a little bit so you have some pipes going in um i mean if you want it it could be like labeled an oxygen tank and you could have your fuel tanks for diesel and petrol and then at the very bottom here uh, i have these massive massive uh no i can't remember the word for it chimneys it's a chimney i am dumb uh these massive chimneys and you might look at these and you think are you what 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 kind of drug substance have you been drinking and i assure you it's only energy <laughs> i've been drinking monsters heavily and it might have influenced my judgment but being that i know a little bit about the industrial revolution i found some of these reference images and i liked what i saw i think they are great they look amazing they have such character and given that these are red brick buildings I thought it would only be right for a such a scaled up industrial building to have equally scaled up uh, chimneys. Because of course, you're gonna smelt more steel, you're gonna produce more heat. You need to dissipate it, dissipate the smoke from burning it. It's good, like it needs it, it's great. So yeah, uh, these are metal presses in here. Very, very uh, low texture metal presses that I just kind of hammered together real quick. Uh, you can probably find some reference images. 
they they are pretty neat. They all look roughly like this with a big hammer and a big base so they don't move. Uh, and yes, the pipes are drawn like really far. I didn't put much interior over here, but this is quite a bit. I really like the pipes that you can see the pipes through the windows. Um, the windows, you could like, if the devs watch this and they steal my idea, please do, please do. I would love it. But you can put the windows at different angles. They don't all have to be like this. <laughs> it doesn't have to look this uh, weird. It was just nice to copy paste it like this. I am lazy. Judge me. What do you want? On the back side, I added another thing that you'll also often see in like uh, steel production and refineries. Uh, it's a little yard for having just pallets of steel uh, stacked on top of each other while it's cooling down. So you would normally have like a little, well, modern day, you would have a little truck that drives it over, puts it in the bay with the corresponding material. For Foxhole, we could use some of our new assembly materials as textures that could go in here that could look really cool, I think. And of course, uh, the whole thing has a big courtyard. Courtyard is, well, you can kind of see the, the size. You could park a lot of trucks in there. It's a lot of access space. You could also access it from the side. Going from having three trucks access it at the same time from one direction to having, I don't know, maybe seven, eight trucks be able to access it at the same time from three different directions. I think that would be really neat. Would help a lot with uh, traffic and congestion, you know? Uh, what am I saying? Four sides. You could pretty much plop this down. You can access it from any direction given that there is a road. And I just, <laughs> I spent a long time on this, so I want to talk about it. Sue me. It, it, it's, it's hard to do pipes. They are annoying because I'm not very good at this. So I don't know the correct way to do it. <laughs> so, so they were a pain to get in. Um, but I, I just think. I really feel like when I go around the Foxhole world, it doesn't feel like it scales correctly. You know what I mean? So I'd really like to see something scale a little more and it would allow us to make Logi way less painful. And I would also very much like that <laughs> for obvious reasons. Um, and I'm just such a fan of the new buildings that you can go inside. Like we just had the town hall be able to go inside it. Safe house has always been a favorite. Uh, Hell, I mean, if you want it, you could add something to the refinery where you had some upgrades. And with these upgrades, you could get more and more interior. I don't exactly know what the upgrades would be. Maybe a uh, bigger storage capacity or uh, longer timers or just a speed upgrade. I, I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, that's not really what it's about. I mainly wanted to redesign it so you could have more people access it. and. I personally think this looks really great. Um, yeah, <laughs> dragging out the video because I spent too much time on this. I will stop doing that. If you liked this, subscribe. I'll do some more. <laughs> uh, if there is a particular one that you want to see me expand or uh, alter or come up with some concepts for, please put in the comments. I would love to know. If you have some specific ideas for what should be added to a building, maybe even the refinery, also pop it in the comment. I'd love to read it. Maybe even make a concept out of it if I think it's cool. And um, the last thing, I printed the refinery. Yeah, I made a 3D print of the refinery and it looks like this. And I think it's great. It took like 12 hours. <laughs> um, I'm going to paint it. And it's going to be on my window still. It's going to look great. That is all from me. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time.